Here we are, Golden West College. See, I'm coming. I'll be there. Okay. Then. I'm starting to starting to assemble here. We have some signs over here. Oh yeah, you see that's my. family members serving in our zero. Hi, I'm Pat O'Reilly from Military Family Speak Out, and we're out here today because we are demanding an apology from Dana Rohrbacher for insulting and saying abusive things to military families. Our all of us here have family in the military, and we've gone out there supporting the troops. We've done everything we can, and we are not going to take this anymore. Today is a debate for Rohrbacher and Brandt, and we want to let him know that we're ready to get his apology. Us in a way that shows he has some respect for military yeah, families. My name is Dee Miller. I am one of the co founders of Gold Star Families for Peace. My nephew Casey was killed in Iraq in 04 04 04. Um, I'm here because Dana Rohrbacher, even though he's not my representative, everything that they do in Congress affects all of us, all of them. And he thinks the war's a good thing, so either he is a very ignorant man or he's complicit with what's going on, and it's Congressman Mike Hill that have to be stopped. I'm Tim Kaler, my son is Ryan. Sergeant Ryan Kaler, he's with the 1st Armored Division outside of Ramadi. He's been a total of two, he's been two tours of duty, which add up to about over 24 months in Iraq. And uh, Rohrbacher, the reason why I'm here, Rohrbacher told me that my son volunteered. Yes, my son volunteered, but he did not volunteer to be used over and over and abused by the government by being uh, having extensions. In 2004, they were extended 120 days after they were packed, ready to go home. And then just recently, they were extended again, and the rumor is he's going to be extended again. My name is Arturo Cambron. This is my wife, Rosanna Cambron, and we're here because we have something to say. We, we want to do whatever we can to bring the troops home. What's your name? Easy Morales. And why are you here? I'm here because I would like to ask him uh, Mr. Rohrbecker why nobody and his family wear the uniform like my son. Why nobody and his family serving in Iraq? This is the petition that we're presenting Rohrbecker. We have over 800 signatures. All right, Congressman Dana Rohrbacher, who's your daddy? Is it A, Jack Abramoff? Is it B, the Mujahideen with Dana? There he is on the right. Or is it C, that smiling man, Tom DeLay? Or D, all of the above. Or D. The Courage Campaign decided that it was time to say hello to Dana Rohrbacher in the way that he wouldn't say hello to his own constituents. So we came together with our friends from Military Families Speak Out in Orange County and Code Pink and a lot of other people who, who, are, who are here just because they know that the right thing to do is to stand up and be countered, even though their own congressman won't be. So uh, we're going to give them a piece of our mind and our whole goal, as you know, is to try to get people to go vote on November 7th. You know, people say there isn't a lot of courage in the country, but look around you, there's a ton of it. There's a ton of it. And you know who doesn't have any courage is Dana Rohrabacher. Yeah. He doesn't have the courage to come say hello to his own. He doesn't have any, any courage to say hello to his constituents. He doesn't have any courage to look around and see why we're in Iraq where we shouldn't be. He doesn't have any courage even to represent the people that elect him. So everybody who's here tonight, this is the beginning. Jim Brandt may just win this time, but if he doesn't, by damn, we're going to be here for the next one. So thanks, everyone, for doing that. Thank you. We're going to walk out there right now and you guys apologize to these folks for what you did to them. Yeah. Are you going to do that, Congressman? Do we have one with Amy? Do we have one with Amy? Are you going to do that, Congressman? Have a great evening when you're thinking about not talking to these kids. It's really rude and just... Our soldiers are all the time fighting and we want an apology from you for being rude and military families. You told me my son volunteered the other day in front of your house.
He's been there for over two years. That's not volunteering. Hey, Jim. He's been two years. Just because they volunteer, you know what it's like to wait 24 hours while you find out if your son's dead or not? Come here, Jim. You've got three kids. Come here, Jim. You know what it's like if you had to wait 24 hours to find out they're alive or dead? I go through that two or three times a week. No, you're not. You're you not. You no wouldn't call military. Why did you call son? military families traitors if you're rude? to pull a woman and her two kids out of a building that the U.S. blew up in Camp Pitt. You're the one calling your son a war No, I'm not. I am not. He did not blow the building up. He pulled them out after. No one. Why did you call my son a war criminal? My son is not a war criminal, Mr. Rohrbacher. My son is not a war criminal. Excuse me. I know. He called my son a war criminal. Excuse me. This is not your area to be in. If you want to be in the free speech area, the whole room is a free speech area. If you want to be in the free speech area, then you need to be over there. My son is not a war criminal. You call my son a war criminal. You told me volunteer. That's twice you rude. You insulted me. Believe me, you're going to hear it. The media will hear about it. 